All right, guys, so we kind of got a big release today. We got a bunch of NHL icons, but in the bottom right there, you're going to see that we got the gold 94 Master Marcus Nasland icon, kind of what we've all been waiting for for the last, I don't know, two months now. So if you go over to the alumni and go to uh, the icons and whatnot, you're going to see that they there is now a 94 Marcus Nasland, and we need to discuss what to do with it and how you're going to handle if you should purchase it, things like that. So first things first, let's pull him up here. As uh, he is a very good card, uh, we'll take a look. So the 94 Marcus Naslin, six foot one ninety five, comes with one to X, two to WC, one to WN, ninety six speed, acceleration and agility, ninety three balance, ninety two endurance, and then that wrist shot of ninety six uh, power and ninety three accuracy is fantastic. As he is going to be a winger for you. Hand stats are 95 to, sorry, 96 to deking, hand eye, 98 to passing, 99 to puck control, which is fantastic, meaning that you can really hold on to the puck with him because he does have that 94 strength as well to go with the 93 balance. His offensive and defensive awareness stats are through the roof at 99 and 96, and that stick checking at 98. Fantastic looking card. Is super excited to start using him, um, but nonetheless, one that you're probably going to want to look into. Um, and we need to discuss the market and what's going on right now as when one's released, you can only assume that they're all going to be released. So let's jump into that and what it means going forward. All right, so let's take a look at the new set. If you go to the icon, hot icon set, there'll be a gold master icon. And if you click on it here, there is the 94 Marcus Nasland untradeable. And what it will require is the base 85 Nasland and 12 icon collectibles. So if you've been hoarding icons like I have, you're going to make out quite a bit here because if you go and look at the auction house currently on PS4, uh, well, he's going for around 200k dropping now. But I mean, I bought all mine for about 20k about a month ago and just been holding on because eventually they were going to be released. And right now, looking at 160. So, let's do the math here. As you can buy a HUD icons right now for about 50k, uh, which is kind of expensive because you can always, like I said, uh, or I've said in the past, just buy the gold rare players. You just have to sit there and buy 50 of them. So, if um, you are able to buy all those gold players, it's going to cost you about 45k for an icon collectible to make one. Uh, so let's do that math real quick. You need 12, so that's about 540k. So if you add in the cost of the player, which is, let's say it's 150,000. So that's about 700k uh, if you do the math, if the player, if Naslin costs about 150. So you have to weigh that. Make sure that you're not overspending because, you know, uh, 150k is quite a bit. 690 is even more expensive. Now, here's the thing. If you have... Nasland already and it's untradeable I think you for sure you should for sure do the upgrade but also remember that the um, the other ones are obviously coming as well and you need to weigh that if you do not have an abundance of coins or players then obviously uh, you know you're gonna want to hold on to them as I've got a bunch of them that I was able to purchase uh, the last couple weeks and uh, now it's pretty much you know a gong show if you go and look at like joe newendike he's going for like 80k and whatnot i would not invest in them because they're not going to go up in price i think i think the market is kind of shocked right now as it was just released so what i would do um i would wait until nasland the nasland card he should drop to around 100k at that point you know you're looking at about 650k for him that's not a bad price for a 94 overall card uh maybe even a little bit less as uh, more and more people make him because you got to remember that a lot of people are going to make him what I want to make sure that you guys do is not go overboard and blow all of your coins on the um, the other guys as well. So if we go and look right here, like what's Master Icons going for? Let's just take one. So uh, this Cornway is going for 120 now. Brian Leach 175 because these were the good cards that were just decent, you know, as they stood. So what I would do is I would look for any that you know go for let's say 100k. And, yeah, there's Ray Ferraros and whatnot. Again, these aren't terrible buys, guys. I mean, they're going to upgrade to at least 94s, and at that point, you know, you're looking really good. I mean, this Howard Chuck, I have a couple Dale Howard Chucks. If you add, you know, plus 9 to them, uh, as it seems like they're going for, this is a very, very good card. So just keep that in mind as you're going through. Um, I think that the market is still kind of in shock, like I said. Uh, but as more and more come out, because, I mean, I think this is kind of a test to see what's going on. I mean, there's only one, and you got to think that they're all coming because they were all leaked earlier in the beta. There was a few leaked, 
Um, I would assume that it's all of them, but again, we'll have to wait and see on that, guys. But what I would do, uh, like I said, is wait for Marcus Naslin to drop in price. He he should if you do not have the base Marcus Naslin card. Now, the other thing that you could do um, if you are kind of strapped for coins and whatnot and you really want the Marcus Naslin card is kind of risk it. So for one icon collectible, you can do an 85 overall silver master icon choice you do that right there and you were able are you if you're able to pull you know the marcus naslin then you just saved yourself a ton now if you're not it's not that bad because you could just you know choose the best one and wait on him so that's what i would really do if you have a bunch of untradeables it's late in the year so you probably have a bunch of untradeables if you really wanted one of the 85s that boosted that will boost up to a 94 I would just do the icon choice set for one icon collectible and take whatever you get. I mean, you could get the the Naslin. You could get a bunch of other ones. Like I said, the new Indyke is going to be a hot commodity as well. Um, so just something to keep in mind there, guys. So don't go overboard and never, ever buy icon collectibles or gold collectibles in the store or like in the auction house. Like right off, you're going, you're going to overspend by a ton, whereas you could just make them by buying gold players. So I just want to get that info out there to you guys um, as now it looks like all the gold out here come the gold master icons have been waiting months for and uh yeah enjoy let me know what you guys think if you've gotten any good polls if you're going to do this set or who you're going to save them for and i'll be sure to answer as many questions as i can if you want join my discord and that's the fastest way to get a hold of me uh, but until then i'll see you guys next time